IoT cloud platforms are offering new opportunities for services and product features. Does your company have designs for electronic systems, equipment, or appliances? Could these products benefit from connection to a cloud platform if you just had the time and resources to add the necessary connectivity? With IoT's tap and link wireless modules, your products can be cloud connected in no time with virtually no risk by leveraging existing network infrastructures and by adding connectivity to your products instantly without redesigning or recoding software. Tap and link wireless modules connect directly to your system's microcontroller. Your design team simply configure tap and link to access specific variables. Tap and link can non-intrusively read system data and relay it to a cloud platform. The connection is also bi-directional. It allows you to write data to modify system parameters or trigger actions. In this demo, we show you how easy it is to link a microcontroller-based system to an existing cloud platform via Wi-Fi channel, and all of this without changing a single line of embedded code. The system in this demo is a fire detector for isolated equipment. It is based on an STM32 microcontroller, an external infrared sensor, and the tap and link Wi-Fi primer. In the original application, an infrared sensor responds to the detection of heat from a flame. Prolonged detection results in an alarm, a green LED, and the triggering of countermeasures. The original application has no network connection. Tap and Link connects to electronic systems rapidly with as few as three simple wire connections. In this case, Tap and Link uses the target microcontroller's ARM standard debug port, although other connection solutions are possible. Once it is connected, the Tap and Link can serve as a sort of a spy, reading specific data and relaying it to the supervising cloud platform via the network gateway. Now that we've made the electrical connections, all we have to do is configure Tap and Link to read the data that we're interested in. The configuration is done in a simple, free software environment called IoTize Studio. IoTize Studio has three main areas, a configuration project, a resource manager, and an app viewer. Importing our microcontroller's original firmware, or ELF file, into the resources provides us all the information about the variables in the system's firmware. These variables represent the data that we want to read or modify using Tap and Link. We create the configuration for Tap and Link by selecting the variables of interest and adding them to the configuration project. Next, activate data logging by setting the sampling rate. Now, configure the connections to the network gateway and the cloud platform. Set up Tap and Link to use the network gateway by providing its SSID and web key. Now set the parameters for the MQTT relay and our specific cloud platform. With this configuration, Tap and Link is now able to non-intrusively read data from our microcontroller's memory and transfer it to our cloud platform. Our cloud application allows us to visualize the current state of the system, as well as managing and viewing the logged data. For cloud integration, the Tap and Link solution includes an open source MQTT relay. It integrates with private cloud platforms and leading commercial cloud platforms. IoTize has sample implementations on Watson, AWS, Azure, and Bluemix, to name a few. There you have it. If you're looking for a wireless communication solution for your IoT projects, Tap and Link Wi Fi modules take the challenges out of integration. Using the Tap and Link approach for connectivity, we can rapidly implement a Wi-Fi channel on an existing system, integrate into an existing network, and test our implementation. We can also modify our implementation easily 
to access different data in our system according to our ideas for new features or services to provide. And we can do all of this without changing the firmware of our target system. Note that Tap and Link also allows mobile connections to support offboarding of your system's HMI to mobile apps. You'll find more videos and documentation about cloud implementation and mobile HMIs on our website. For more information about these and other topics, please visit our website www.iotize.com.